Welcome to Effector from the Electronic Frontier Foundation. This is the audio edition of EFF's email newsletter geared towards keeping you on the bleeding edge of your digital rights. This is Effector Volume 36, Issue 10, titled Our Last Chance to Stop COSA. This issue was published in July 2024, and I'm your host, membership advocate Christian Romero. Let's start with our top features. First up, the COSA Internet Censorship Bill just passed the Senate. It's our last chance to stop it. It's a terrible idea to let politicians and bureaucrats decide what people should read and view online. But that didn't stop the Senate from passing COSA, a bill that will let federal and state governments investigate and sue websites they claim cause kids mental distress, on Tuesday in a 91-3 vote. This development means that the House can take up and vote on this bill at any time. We need to act now, and let the people making the laws know that the public is becoming aware of their censorship plans and we won't stand for them. Next up, EFF and partners urge EU delegates to help fix UN Cybercrime Treaty's deep flaws. The final negotiating session to approve the deeply flawed UN Cybercrime Treaty is happening now. EFF and 21 international civil society organizations have urged delegates to push back on this dangerous pact that will grant intrusive surveillance powers without robust human rights and data protection safeguards. For more on the treaty's flaws, see our articles about criminalizing security research and journalism, surveillance abuses, and inadequate privacy and data protection safeguards. You can also watch the media briefing that EFF and our allies provided. And now, let's roll through some EFF updates. First up, how to fix the internet podcast, AI on the artist's palette. Digital artist, academic, and cultural critic Natrice Gaskins discusses how she applies both artificial intelligence and her own life experience to create something new and original and expand the boundaries of Black artistic thought. Next up, why Privacy Badger opts you out of Google's Privacy Sandbox. Privacy Badger's latest update opts users out of ad tracking through Google's Privacy Sandbox, which is Google's way of letting advertisers keep targeted ads based on your online behavior without using third-party cookies. And Google just backtracked on its privacy promise, announcing that third-party cookies are here to stay anyways. Next up, Detroit takes important step in curbing the harms of face recognition technology. In its first-of-its-kind agreement, the Detroit Police Department recently agreed to adopt strict limits on its officers' use of face recognition technology as part of a settlement in a lawsuit brought by a victim of this faulty technology. Next, Hundreds of tech companies want to cash in on Homeland Security's funding. Here's who they are and what they're selling. EFF has released the U.S. Border Homeland Security Technology Dataset, detailing vendors who supply or market technology for the U.S. government's increasingly AI-powered Homeland Security efforts, including the so-called virtual wall of surveillance along the Mexico border. For our last update, we've got a victory. EFF supporters beat USPTO proposal to wreck patent reviews. EFF and all Americans got a big victory last month when we defeated a set of rules that would have mangled one of the US Patent and Trademark Office's most effective systems for kicking out bad patents. Next up, let's go through some announcements. First, Carolina Botero, Connecting Humanity, and 404 Media are the 2024 EFF Award winners. Carolina Botero, Connecting Humanity, and 404 Media will receive the 2024 EFF Awards for their vital work in ensuring that technology supports freedom, justice, and innovation for all people. Register now for the EFF Awards ceremony, 6.30 p.m. on Thursday, September 12th at the Golden Gate Club in San Francisco. The ceremony will be live-streamed and recorded. Next up, betting on your digital rights, EFF Benefit Poker Tournament at DEF CON 32. The EFF Benefit Poker Tournament is back for DEF CON 32. Your buy-in for the Friday, August 9th tournament is paired with a donation to support EFF's mission to protect online privacy and free expression for all. Play for glory, play for money, play for the future of the web. Seating is limited, so you reserve your spot today. Each player gets a custom EFF deck of cards celebrating the tournament. Next, Tech Trivia at DEF CON. Join us for EFF Tech Trivia at DEF CON 32 on Saturday, August 10th at 6.30 p.m. EFF's team of technology experts have crafted challenging trivia about the fascinating, obscure, and trivial aspects of digital security, online rights, and internet culture. 
Competing teams will plumb the unfathomable depths of their knowledge, but only the champion hive mind will claim the first place tech trivia trophy and EFF swag pack. Second and third place teams will also win great EFF gear. For our last announcement, EFF Livestream Series, Reproductive Justice in the Digital Age. This summer marks the two-year anniversary of the Dobbs decision overturning Roe v. Wade. Join EFF on Wednesday, August 28th for a live stream discussion about restrictions to reproductive health care and the choices people seeking an abortion must face in the digital age, where everything is connected and surveillance is rampant. Learn what's happening across the U.S. and how you can get involved. Next up, we've got two job openings. First, Legal Secretary. EFF seeks an experienced professional to join our legal team as a full-time legal secretary who will support our attorneys in their litigation, appellate, and policy practices. We're looking for a problem solver with great communication, time management, and organizational skills who can monitor dockets, manually calculate and calendar litigation dates, research court rules to ensure filings are compliant, and e-file our documents. Next, we'll start taking applications for legal interns on Thursday, August 1 for the Spring 2025 intern class. EFF's legal internships provide law students with a unique opportunity to develop valuable skills and real-world experience while working with a nationally recognized public interest law firm. And now it's time to go through some mini-links. First up, from Wired, J.D. Vance left his Venmo public. Here's what it shows. Access to anyone's social connections can reveal sensitive private information and expose them to security risks, EFF's Jennifer Lynch said. High-profile politicians like Vance may be especially prone to social engineering attacks and impersonation. If someone who is a candidate for vice president hasn't changed his privacy settings, I don't know how a company can expect the rest of us to stay on top of this. Next up from 404 Media, DHS has a DOS robot to disable Internet of Things booby traps inside of homes. DHS bought a dog-like robot that it modified with an antenna array to let law enforcement overload people's home networks to disable any, quote, Internet of Things devices, according to a transcript obtained by EFF's Dave Moss and shared with 404 Media. Next, from the Washington Post, AT&T says hackers stole call records of nearly all wireless customers. Quote, this could be used by spies, scammers, and other bad actors to target specific people or to improve the feasibility of scams by impersonating the numbers of people you regularly call. End quote, said EFF's Cooper Quinton. This last mini-link comes from Mashable. How did one CrowdStrike mistake stop the world? We asked three experts. The problem is that we're really stuck in a digital monoculture, where decades of anti-competitive practices have created it so that one system is responsible for so much of what we rely on, from everything from airlines to hospitals to schools, EFF's Rory Mir said. One mistake that creates a big failure, it happens, it's an inevitability, but for it to have this sort of impact is a policy failure. And that's a wrap. Thanks for listening. If you like what you're hearing or would like to learn more, subscribe at eff.org slash effector. Did you know EFF is a member-supported nonprofit organization? You can help us protect digital freedoms online for everyone by donating at eff.org slash effect and even grabbing some gear. Thanks for your support, and I hope you'll join us for the next issue of Effector.